All right, y'all. Well, as you saw, we got married, <laughs> and it was gorgeous. Oh, oh, Check it out. Oh. Check it out. Oh. Marriage. <laughs> um, before that, we had some problems with the GoPro, where we had some battery issues, and then bought a new battery, and that didn't work. But we're up and running again, and now we are doing Ophir. Ofer, whatever you want to call it, pass. Actually, tell us how to say it. Yeah, yeah. tell us how to say it. <laughs> um, we've run a couple trails that you didn't get to see or didn't get to see much of. Um, but for the last week or so, we really shifted <laughs> our uh, priorities from exploring to marriage. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, we're back on the exploration trail. We're going to start making our way back toward Montana here shortly. Um, but for now, check this out. I mean, does it get better than that? I don't think it does. Colorado's amazing. made it up. This has been a fun little trail. Look at that beautiful contrast. Oh, there you go. descent was pretty fun pretty rocky nothing challenging but if you meet somebody head on it's very narrow which we did so you just got to be cautious uh try to see people coming up so you can give them the right away and also uh keep an eye on your pull-off spots so you can be preemptive with that but seriously look at these colors just the reds and oranges and then you still have the greens we're pretty lucky to still have some green grass and trees and stuff even though it's second week of September so anyway it's incredible if you haven't been here you gotta come so sometimes Hannah does insane things to get cool pictures which is pretty much the only reason I wiped her up just kidding um, but one of those things is staying up there to get pictures of the Jeep down here. And now she's trying to run down this entire trail. Um, we scouted it out. There was nobody coming up or down at the time. Um, so always be conscious of that. Um, don't want to be in people's way at all. But oh look, a little guy carrying the branch. I don't know if you can see that. I think that's a marmot. That's awesome, <laughs> the things you see. So after finishing Ophir, which is what we're calling it because it sounds cooler than Ofer, Ofer. <laughs> we uh, decided to take another little, I guess more of a forest road than a trail this time, um, over to Alta Lakes, which is not too far from where you finish Ophir if you're going from Silverton toward Telluride. And uh, it was well worth the little drive. Tons of camping up here too. So we definitely marked this on the map and we'll be back to camp. <laughs> Where are we going? 
Moab. No, we're in Moab. What trail are we doing? Uh, the one. Switchbacks. Schaefer. It's, okay, what is the trail called? Schaefer Switchbacks. Sweet, okay. And it's across from the one that we did last year, which was Chicken Corners? Yeah. Okay, very good. Look at the pretty rock. So pretty. So we are currently on Schaefer Trail that runs into Canyonlands National Park. And if you hear a weird squeaking sound, it's our rear sway bar that needs to be greased. So ignore it like we've learned to. Squeak! <laughs> there it is. There's the squeak. Squeak. So not many people know this about me, but I am in fact a little pale. So Hannah has graciously given me her little linen shirt because the Moab sun coming in through my window, which is not tinted, was absolutely toasting my leg. So uh, if you come to Moab and you look like me, bring some sunscreen. But it's well worth it because, I mean, look at that. It's insane. We stopped for a little lunch at an overlook and uh, while it's hot, Moab never disappoints when it comes to views. This trail is not challenging, especially if you're even in a stock 4x4 vehicle. We've seen some like cars doing it, so um, no excuse to not come do it. But Wait. the. <laughs> we saw some cars. We saw a Prius. We just saw a Prius. We doing saw a this. Prius. Which I don't know what the rest of the trail holds, but I think they're gonna, they're be, gonna beat it. that thing up a they're little bit <laughs> on the way out. But Moab is just, this trail follows the Colorado River and you get all these cool bends in the river that you can just stop and take a look at. We saw some boats on it earlier and honestly the weather's not too bad. It's full sun, but we got a little bit of a breeze and uh, yeah, it's awesome. We're having a blast. And Hannah's documenting, of course. All right, we have officially entered Canyonlands National Park. It's the first time we've actually been in the park. And so far, it's beautiful. On Schaefer Trail or Schaefer Road, and we're gonna do switchbacks up, yeah. up. So we'll see how it goes with the long wheelbase. All right, we're getting to the switchbacks. There they be, right there. There boy. they be, right there. We gonna go up, damn switchbacks. <laughs> if you yee. look super oh. hard, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you might be able to see them, but it's really bright, so maybe not. So we just stopped right before the switchbacks because a uh, lady and her son coming down in like a, an expedition or something uh, were running low on gas. So we tried to fill them up the Rotopax and uh, they had one of those like modern self filler cap type things and the Rotopax would not fill it. It just uh, it wouldn't go in fully. Splash gas all over you. So hopefully we gave them a little bit. Um, but. Um, sh they should be fine. They had, I think, plenty, but she was a little worried about it. Um, and we tried to do our good deed for the day and failed, so hopefully no, that we, still counts. <laughs> it counts because we got really sweaty and we're covered in gas now. So yeah, we smell real nice. <laughs> but now, time for switchbacks! Switchbacks! <laughs> Hannah doesn't know it yet, but when we get to the top, we're turning around and we're gonna drift around the corners on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously y'all see that road it's amazing and so far everybody's been super nice and uh really letting people buy and 
um, following trail etiquette. So yay Utah. We love that for <laughs> Utah. And up we go. Riley hates this, but it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Also, his mom's gonna be so mad at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mickey. Sorry, Mickey, I love you. We made it to the top, y'all. Made it to the top. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Easy, obviously hot. I just ran up a hill to take some photos and it is hot, but it's awesome. There you go, Onyx off-road for the win. <laughs> you warm? Yes. 90 degrees. So we didn't show you, but we stopped in town for barbecue. So and it was amazing. And we just hung out for a little bit. Now we're gonna go try to catch some good light um, in Arches National Park. Um, and then maybe come back into town and eat again. Who knows? We know what we're about, so. Yeah. We got sweet tea. Oh my gosh. Which we don't get in Montana. And we miss yeah. from Florida so much. If you're not a barbecue fanatic or not a southerner, you don't know how big of a deal that is. So good. But it was actually really good. Blue pig? The blue pig. Blue pig, yeah, it was really good. So blue if you're in Moab. U, no E. The blue yeah. pig. If you're in Moab, it's good barbecue. It's good. But let's go. Let's do some more trails. Ooh. My new husband has <laughs> requested that I address. No, don't. <laughs> what? Don't start. I'm sorry. Okay. Cut. So Riley wants me to address the fact that we are not camping in Moab. We're actually staying in a hotel and it's for two reasons. One, because we're technically on our honeymoon and we kind of want it to be bougie. Um, but two, <laughs> because it's almost seven o'clock right now and it's still almost 90 degrees. So it's really hot. Moab is still kind of in the heat of summer and it would be pretty miserable to camp right now. But yeah. it does look pretty despite being very, very warm. That's for all the purists who are gonna say this is an overlanding. <laughs> it's a little high. We're not trying to suffer on our wedding week. <laughs> exactly. We're just gonna have a little fun. This is the view headed into Arches. And behind us, well you can't really see, but over that hill is an incredible sunset. Are you having fun? Yes. Yeah. I mean, how could we not? You have like rock formations, canyons, and then peaks over there. It's just, the moon is out while the sun sets. It's just incredible. We're having a blast. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. On the road again. At least say bye to Moab. Bye Moab. Bye Moab. We're leaving Moab and we're headed to uh Provo. Utah Lake? Yeah. So we're gonna go to Utah Lake 
that we're finally going to go see the salt flats because that's something I've wanted to do for a few years. Yeah. We're going to go see some friends. The vector friend. <laughs> so we are at camp for the night at Utah Lake State Park and we brought a little bit of Moab with us. <laughs> but we've stayed here once before. It's awesome um, if you're looking for a place with facilities and views and Hannah <laughs> and uh, the lake is right over there and it's just gorgeous with the like golden grass and everything but yeah camping over there <laughs> and this park is really really beautiful but and it windy does, it does have scary spiders it does have scary spiders but it's still pretty Hannah and I were just discussing when uh, like Adam and Eve took the apple or whatever it was you know um, you know not counting like childbirth and all that kind of stuff spiders were probably Probably the worst thing that happened. The worst repercussion of yeah. taking the fruit from the tree. Yeah. So that's a Theology 101 <laughs> with, with uh, Riley and Hannah. And uh, back to week. your uh, regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> oh, look at all the waves are right now. The wind is pretty intense. A little choppy. We might get a storm. There's an otter right there. That's an otter, right? I think so. Marmot? No. Oh my god, it's coming towards the... <laughs> hey oh, little buddy! It's right there! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, I appreciate you saying that. So we had planned to go to the salt flats today, but Hannah woke up feeling not too hot. So we decided just to head home. It's about a nine hour drive. Um, but after 26 days on the road, you know, no complaints. We had a great time. So we're headed back to Missoula.